would not be a Philadelphia Christmas without the iconic Macy's Light Show and the sounds of the Wanamaker organ. So, Alex, I had the honor and got a chance to play it. Have a look. Thousands will come and go over the holidays, stopping for 12-minute intervals to take in the high-flying, soaring, sparkling lights of this quintessential Philadelphia tradition. It was awesome. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> but the hero of the program hides in plain sight. A pipe organ so massive, those who work on the instrument say baby, yes, that's what they call her, spreads about numerous floors of the department store like a monster octopus. I think it holds a very high bar in the world of music. That's Matt Taft. He and a fleet of workers and volunteers keep baby and her 30,000 pipes in shape and in tune. I might actually be a rocket scientist. <laughs> on your resume, though, what does the title say? Organ shop coordinator. It's said to be the world's largest playable organ. So in an off the beaten path area of women's blouses, a pair of unassuming doors leads to the heart of this living, breathing instrument. We step and climb and dodge around the many pipes and internal systems of the organ, weaving about the floors on the other side of the light show and three-story Christmas tree. We're inside a musical instrument. It's not just that I get to work on musical instruments, it's that I get to work in a musical instrument, and it's something that gets shared with the world. Behind the light show, there are dozens of rooms like this one. They are enclosed, and they contain pipes, some 8, 16 feet in length, others the size of a toothpick. And the sounds are varied and diverse. There is even a saxophone stop. The saxophone. Such a cool sound for an organ to make. Principal organist Peter Conti is marking 30 years at the controls or stops of the Wanamaker organ at Macy's. So I'm the fourth person to have the job since 1911. It's pretty cool. It's, a, it's, a, it's as I say, a cool gig in the business. The world-renowned musician remembers some touch-and-go moments, but Conti says Macy's celebrated the instrument and its rich history and power. Immediately embraced it, completely restored the organ. I mean, completely. It is 100% playable now. Conti's fingers dance about the keys in rapid motion. His feet rhythmically motor around a pedal board. Both actions fire off signals at the speed of a sixteenth a second to the chambers, sounding a diverse harmony of pipes. It has the ability to completely overwhelm this space. We don't do that very often during store hours, obviously. We don't want to scare the people in women's shoes. The magic of this organ is the, is the complete tonal spectrum from that hushed, hushed purr to a huge symphonic. And since you went there, do you consider yourself in women's shoes section <laughs> or in the blouse department? Well, at one point, this the console doesn't move. It's two and a half tons, but the women's shoe department was actually around here. So I used to pride myself in the fact that I was in women's shoes. Filed under those things you only dream about, I got to test drive this six keyboard historic instrument. It was quite the moment to experience in such a special place. Most people don't even know there's an organ in this building. And so they're, they're here and they hear this instrument and you can see people's faces just light up because they don't expect to hear an organ in a department store and not one like this for sure. The pedal work? The, the, oh my goodness, Joe. <laughs> I was like a kid in a candy store. That is really cool. It was awesome. Thanks to the folks <laughs> at Macy's for that special trip.